What's going on everybody, it's AG here. The new Netflix documentary, The Redeem Team, about the 2008 USA basketball team just dropped today. I had a chance to check it out this morning, so let's talk about it. For those that don't remember, the Redeem team was a 2008 team coming off that 2004 loss that they had at the Olympics. So the Redeem team was out to redeem that loss is what the name comes from. But for those that don't know, this is a new documentary on Netflix about that team. It's made by the same filmmakers that made The Last Dance about Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls that debuted on ESPN a couple years ago, for those that remember. The Redeem team featured a bunch of players that are well known today. You got LeBron James. Dwayne Wade, Carmelo, Chris Bosh, Jason Kidd, Darren Williams, Chris Paul, among others, and also including Kobe Bryant. So the Redeem team, stack team for the USA team, they had a lot to lose, but a lot to win also. So basically the documentary starts up talking about how after that 2004 loss, USA basketball was eager to get back to victory. To do that, they had to go and build this team. The documentary basically goes through some of the tournaments that they had to play overseas in order to qualify for the Olympics. Then also it goes to Beijing in the 2008 Olympics to show how they did there. So it was a rocky start for the Redeem team. In 2006, they lost to Greece in the World Championships, missing out on a qualifying opportunity for the Olympics. They got the bronze medal there, but not the gold that they were hoping for. After that loss in the 2006 World Championships, they didn't have Kobe at that time, so that led them to go try to convince Kobe to come and play. So once Kobe got on the team, the team completely changed. So the mentality changed, the hustle and practice changed, the team changed. So the team started playing a lot better and not losing to these teams they shouldn't lose to. Kobe brought a different mentality, and so the documentary basically... After he joins, it starts talking about how the team slowly started changing and slowly started getting that mama mentality themselves. So after all that happens, it goes to Beijing, documents their run in the Olympics, showing how they run through their competition, ultimately meeting Spain in the championship and taking down the Gasol brothers. It was a closer game than most of the other games they had, but the Redeem team did win it, and so the Redeem team did win gold. Documentary itself could have been better in my opinion. It's not quite Last Dance level. Last Dance was really engaging. This one, it does lack in some parts. It's kind of slow. Not quite as good as the Last Dance. Overall, for my grade for the movie, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. With that being said, I'm going to recommend that you do stream it. It's streaming now on Netflix, and it's available to watch whenever you're ready. So, until next time, AG, out.